As I was saying before, I realized that we're gonna be dealing with the freaking mandricoras or whatever they were the whole time. We can go ahead and shake these by doing this. That'll make the crow the crows leave. But what we have to do is we have to get the crows on top of the scarecrows, and that'll make them come to life. Which is it's gonna be fantastic, let me tell you. I don't know if you remember, I said this like back in the beginning portions of the game, I think. Um God, there's so many. Why are there so many? I need to use the, just the long-range combo more, they're so weak. But I said there was one enemy in this game that kind of terrified me and I thought was truly scary. And we're, we're about to see if that holds true. Let's shake this thing again. Let's see if we can actually get him where I want to go. Look at that. Oh boy. When the crows meet with the scarecrow. Oh boy. Pretty scary if you ask me. Okay, well, and they're, they're, out, they're like really tough mini bosses too. Oh, okay, yeah, look at that. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, I forget how, how do we actually fight these things. Giant hooks for arms. Just, you know, there have been some pretty terrifying scarecrow designs in fiction. I gotta say, as far as the ones I've seen, this is pretty high up there. They move so fast, as I'm sure you're already seeing. Jesus Christ, they're so fast. I guess it makes sense because they're so thin, but. Okay, stop it, stop it, stop it. Give me some of my health back, dude. And I get blocked too. Okay, go in like that. I guess we're just gonna get as much health as I can back from this guy. As I try to get down his attacks. Okay. Ooh, and he even makes spikes coming out of the ground. Jeez. Yeah, we almost got him though. Very high damage dealing enemy for sure. But not a ton of HP, so. Not like the vampire commandos we faced down at the very least. Okay, and there we go. And that is key number one. Just have to do that two more times. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and view that, um... Let's go ahead and view that bestiary entry as well. Monsters, unfortunately I like missed it whenever we first saw it, but let's see, where is it? Boy, we've definitely fought like a whole lot of monsters here, haven't we? Let's see, I think we'll be towards the bottom. Scarecrow, yeah. Scarecrow, size big, difficulty high. The scarecrows are magical constructs of the crow witch Malphus that attack and kill anything that moves. Malphus created the scarecrows to help Baba Yaga under her watchful eye and, where possible, to nullify her power by restricting her movements. The scarecrows are roused by the birds which follow the evil crow's witch bid bidding. The scarecrows are extremely fast and attack with razor sharp scythes. Yeah, we already killed Malphus, so I guess that's why they're in such a... In such a ruckus. We killed Malphus before we even got to Carmelo's Tower. But okay, so the next one's going to be right there. So uh, the puzzle of this one is going to be you have to shake the crows like to um to the correct posts in order to have them kind of like meet with the scarecrows. And you see what I wanted them to do is like not go that way. I would have rather Oh, another one. I would have rather they go the opposite direction, but I believe, um, the only way to, like, block crows from going to a certain post is if there are already crows on top of that post. Um, and also there are probably quite a- quite a few of these gonna be around. There are probably quite a few scarecrows kind of, like, hidden away in these nooks and crannies as well, so... Ow. Yeah, I probably need that at the very least. Yeah, it should be making better use of the holy water. It's not gonna be super duper effective like it was against the vampires, but I think it'll at least help. I need to use it in conjunction with the light magic. I use that shield all the time that you get from using the holy water with the... I didn't really use it all the time, I suppose. But it, it proved in the latter half of... Okay, where am I already? In the latter half of that, uh, of Carmilla's castle to be quite helpful. And I've, I've already gotten kind of lost here. This land was once teeming with life and beauty. Now look at it. The stench of death is everywhere. The scarecrows see everything, and I have heard that the crows of Malphus watch over this place and report back to their mistress. An old legend is written that the witch, that a witch killed the lover of Malthus, and that she swore revenge on her. I wonder if the old crow still lives, or is it just another scary bedtime story for children? Ah, so Baba Yaga is the one that killed, um, Malthus's lover. Don't really remember, like, what that entire story was specifically, but I remember Malthus used to be a beautiful princess before her, her lover was taken from her. Okay, so, um, yeah, yeah. 
So I think for this, so we need to get up there and get to those crows. So I kind of just went around in a circle here. What happens if I shake this one? You guys just go back to where you last came? I think so. So if I can get some crows to this one right here now, I believe when I shake it, they'll actually go to the right. And we can start trying to, to wake this scarecrow up right here. I think I'm just going to avoid you guys, honestly. I don't think it's worth it. Ah, it's going to be worth it when they freaking drain all my health while I'm doing this. Oh, can they not do it while I'm doing this? Okay. I was about to say, I might die if all of these guys keep up on me at once. Okay, stay back. Stay back. And now I think we can escape up here. Okay, so. There are the crows I was looking for. And another skeleton. Hey, I'll take it, I'll take it. Okay, so where are you guys going to go now? I'm guessing you're going to go down that way. Well, we want to, we want to, we want to get them back to the bottleneck that I was talking about, so... Unfortunately, you can't just jump right off here. So we're going to have to walk all the way back down where the Mandrake Auras actually were. But this, okay, this, this is proving to perhaps not be as annoying as I had originally thought. Since I do, I do know where that second Scarecrow is. It might be the third one that becomes the most annoying, but... Okay, so they're over here, right? I believe. Yeah, so if I shake them, they'll go that way. Okay, yeah, I, I think everything's going according to plan right here. We force them back to that intersection, there'll be some crows that are blocking them off, and we should be good to go. Yeah, this thing's making some disturbing noises, too. I've never really listened to it until we had to because, you know, we were just waiting for the crows to get over there, but jeez, man. Ooh, a fairy. I'll take it. And I already have enough, so okay, hey, there you go. Boy, I'm very thankful that these Mandragoras can't actually, like, steal your life <laughs> while you're trying to shake these crows away. Can you imagine how much more annoying that would have been? Okay. So now if I remember correctly, we should shake this one and they should go the direction we want. Because those crows right there are blocking. You can't do that. There are already crows there. Yeah, they don't like to share their posts. There we go, that's how you do it. And we just shake them as normal and we get ready for another Scarecrow fight. And I'm gonna open up with a... a Holy Water Shield this time. We'll see if we fare a little bit better. Yeah, that is a disturbing image. Here we go. See, that appeared to do quite a bit of damage right there. And now under the guise of the shield, I can go in for some big combos. I'm not even worried about, like, wasting my light magic since I'm pretty low on HP anyway. Okay, now we're good. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Didn't really mean to use another one. In fact, I, I've been playing another game where I was pressing the circle button is how you dodge, so... Man, that was substantially easier. Whenever I could just go in with that holy water shield and not really have to worry about a super quick enemy. So that is going to be our strategy going forward as well. And that is key number two. So I think the real annoying one is going to be this last one right here. Mainly because we're going to have to use, if I recall correctly, three uh, flocks of crows in order to do it. And I don't even know where... Did they stay in the same spot? No, where did they go? The crows flew somewhere else. Okay, I think it's probably going to be this way... Again, this is one of those things where it's like, I really could have used a mini-map here, you know. Not seeing any more crows over here, though. Maybe we just have to backtrack? I don't think so. Let's see. This just takes us back to the old witch's house, Baba Yaga's house. I know that we've taken a wrong turn. Yeah, it looks like we may have taken a wrong turn here. Um, I actually think, you know, we can go up here. I don't know if that's going to do anything Baba, for me. We'll let you climb okay, out so when you have finished your task. Okay. For some reason, I kind of remember like, there being, like, a, a Brotherhood skeleton up there, but perhaps not. Okay, so where in this village are those crows? And, ah, so that's the last Scarecrow right here. And that's the crows, so you would think it would be fairly easy to get them right there. Let me go ahead and get my bearings, though. Ah, magic. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and get our bearings, open everything up. And then we'll formulate a strategy after that. 
One right here. Ah, there we go. That's the flock I was looking for. Okay, so there are three, but I didn't see where the second flock had actually gone. Okay, so let's get this before we go any further, of course. Another light magic gem! Wow, we're, we're really going... <laughs> we're going through that one fast. Not that I'm complaining. I do believe I, I said up top that I found light magic to be a little bit more helpful, at least with the way I play this game, so... The more I can get, the better. Okay, so what is... Ah, God, get away! Jesus! So what is going to be the way we do this here? So we have... One... Two... I feel like there has to be a third one, a third flock somewhere. Where are they? And if I could get some more holy water, that would work out really well too. Okay, and that's number three. And this connects to where we, we saw earlier, okay. And I somehow missed this guy. I have seen my death and it is horrible indeed. But I am comforted that my dreams tell me one will prevail and defeat the Lords of Shadow. I wonder, is he already searching the land and laying waste to those who would destroy everything we love? If he is, then God speed, my friend. Kill and keep killing in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let all who stand in God's way feel his wrath. It does make me think, like, um, how, how recent are some of these skeletons? Well, I mean, it takes a while for a body to become a skeleton, so maybe not super recent. But were other Brotherhood members, like, trying to defeat the Lords of Shadow after Gabriel even started his quest? Like, is that a thing? Not that it ultimately matters, really, but... Okay, so, I believe this is where we... The Scarecrow's right there. So... Hmm. Yeah, 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 wait, 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 wait. So we have him right here, so I believe if I shake it, and then both of these are full, I'll just go straight to the Scarecrow over there. And I'll take the Holy Water. Yeah, that's gonna make this a lot easier. So we shake this one, and then shake the... Center, and then we're good. At least in theory. <laughs> Maybe what I remember being annoying is how this isn't going to actually work, but I guess we'll see. I mean, it makes sense. Like, there's three above. There's three, you know, kind of where this... This post is, uh, pointing towards. Two of them are filled up, so you gotta go to the last one, right? Yep, alright. Not as annoying as I remember. Again, there have been so many segments in this game where I remember them being a whole lot more annoying and they just have been, been like, all that rough. But here we go. This proved to be a foolproof strategy last time. So that is exactly what we're doing again. And I don't have to keep using the light magic in order to keep the shadow, so... It's probably better to actually use the shadow magic now, since we do have that magic refill close by. Not going as smoothly as when we just kind of spam to the shield the whole time, but still. Let's get damage. Oh! That one's so easy to see, too. Because the size that he has for arms is light right up. Oh, the dodge doesn't really, doesn't, isn't like 100% accurate with that. And that should be it. Yeah, that should do it. That is all three. And I guess you could have skipped that whole segment? <laughs> I mean, you've gotten out like a big part of the game if you do that. And some of the coolest fights in the game, too. Maybe not coolest fights, but I mean... The Scarecrows are pretty scary, they're, they're pretty fun to fight, even though they're just like tiny mini-bosses, so... I don't know, why would you do that? The puzzle wasn't even that difficult. But there we go, you literal bag of bones. I have your keys for your weird music box. Spell will blind you. Except 
And I missed more magic gems in there. Man, I thought I was pretty thorough. Story of my life, though. And here we go. Only the third one in the section, but that's as far as we go. The music box. The old hag has cast a spell on Gabriel, making him very small. Small enough to enter the music box and retrieve the blue rose she so obviously desires. This old witch has me nervous. Something she said has filled me with disquiet. She mentioned the King of the Angels. I am sure I heard her correctly. What does this mean? Why do I have this feeling of dread? I hope Gabriel will succeed and quickly so that we may be on our way. When he has gone, I will kill this evil crow so that she may not be a danger to anyone else ever again. And here we go, this definitely gets my vote as, uh, the, the weirdest level in the entire game, so... Um, trying to remember how this works exactly. Like, I remember how it works, I remember it being pretty freaking annoying, actually. But we're about to see. Let's get the green cylinder, and this is a music box, right? So we're gonna have to activate all these cylinders. Open up a new path. So we only have the green. And I guess that's gonna be it. And we're timed. Yeah, that's right. Music box mark three. Operating instructions. For servicing, you can control the mechanisms inside the box using the central machine. When moving through the corridors, make sure that the music cylinders are placed in the correct order. Remember to check the decoration in each corridor before using the cylinders. For safety reasons, keep children away from the music box mark three. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're timed, right? And, um, I believe as long as that's playing, like, these spikes... I don't really know what's going on here, but I'm gonna go ahead and... Get this in. Ow. <laughs> Dangerous the music box is. Okay, so... Those are just not going to move unless the green cylinder is actually selected. And like the instruction manual said, um, the path down there is green. So we know that, like, the green has to be activated first. I think if I were to put the green anywhere else, um... It wouldn't actually work there. But okay, here we go again. So the tune is very catchy. I probably should, could have just run through. Okay, there we go. And now we get the red cylinder. Before you. Yes, yes, many. Many nights before, huh? I like the sound of that. So we have the red, and now a different path will have opened up. Forget how we do it though, so obviously that one begins with a red, so the red probably has to go first. And I don't think we can make that jump, y you might think that you can do a running jump and then a Seraph... Uh, a Seraph robe jump? Not Seraph robe, it's Fire Emblem. But no, you can't make it, see. Okay, so what are we gonna try instead? Yes, you are. Good. Good. So it's gonna be red... First and then green. And I think that's going to make to where this is actually accessible. Yeah, platforms. Okay. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Ah. And then now that the red is done, the green actually plays, but doesn't look like I can really go anywhere. Yeah, we reach a dead end, so I have to go the other way. Creepy, right? I mean, she's she's laughing and commentating the whole time, and oh gosh, she's so ugly too. And the music box is kind of kind of hauntingly beautiful, but also creepy in and of itself at the same time. Like very strange section of the game, but you know, for what we're doing, helping out this kind of person, I think it does make sense. Okay, so let's try going this way this time. Let's see if this is what we want to do. And 
Hmm, looks like normal jumps can do it, so I need to not get over seeing this. Getting now green. We can get through the green. Ah, which gives us the purple cylinder. Late or the magenta, so whatever you want to call it. Very good nights. <laughs> yeah, this 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 person's messed up. You ate the knights? Ugh. At least Zobak's gonna allegedly kill you after we're done here. 